Those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello, me and Buckers. It's me, Paul, and me, Jason. Together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And this is vlog 27, our plot 25, our allotment adventures. And here are here lurking in the corner. <laughs> you know where, Stuart. So we had we had Kay, our bestie, on. Let's have Stuart our actually here's the rub and here's why. If you're thinking, when you're watching this on Monday, if you're thinking, where's those vegan guys been? Because we normally vlog a lot more than we have. We do. Today is Friday the 2nd. 2nd of July uh, 2021. And tonight the vegan queens have an online gig doing bingo. And then tomorrow night the vegan queens have another gig, a hen night, which is fabulous because the bookings have started to come in again. Yes. Uh, we might get a large gap between these and more. Uh -huh. And we're expecting that, so that's, it's not fine, but you know. Uh, so that's why we've not been vlogging, we've been preparing for these um, gigs. Gigs. Anyway, let's just talk about Alan. Okay. Do you remember Alan, right from a right way back when, and he brought us a load of wood down? And we ended up building the Honey Inn. The Honey Inn. Oh, I've just got And Gourd Grove. Gourd Grove was built with some of the wood that I got from down in Ashton and some of the wood that Alan gave us. So Alan's been a, an absolute good send. Well done. A yeah, good send good. Yeah. Um, for us. And, and I put a call out on Facebook the other day because we've talked about making a new bed in between Berry Boulevard and the Honey Inn. Mm -hmm where there's a big space and Alan said I've got wood Jason's just dropped me some radishes off why didn't he say he doesn't say I'm the cheeky one I'm one who asks yeah. out of asking I learned it off Amanda Palmer you know all this that's why I've got a drone now uh, <laughs> so anyway Alan's coming down again with um, more wood for us bless him awesome and he, I'm going to send him away with uh, a load of stuff um, very much harvest time here now. Bit of weeding today, bit of harvesting, getting some of the uh, the wood off Alan when he arrives. Um, and you know, you two have got to get home later and get yourselves all ready for this evening. Yeah. So. yeah. And as you saw on the last meals vlog, which had many me you know bits from here incorporated into meals and things. That's extended even more. It's like every evening meal we've had over the past seven to ten days. Yeah has had some stuff from Plot 25, which is just amazing. It's great to be, oh, let me show you this. Look at this. It's a truck. This is where I start panicking about Polly. Look, truck light. can you see it? It's a truck, it's a big green basket with a colander at one end. Polly? Yeah, Polly Panasonic. Have you still got us, Polly? Hi, Polly, we're here, we're still here. Yeah, we're okay. I think we're up. Um, so yeah, uh, that truck's already been filled three times uh, and stuff taken home. In fact, you had some of our greens last night. I did, and they were mighty good. We had spinach, chard, and radish greens. Yeah. Uh, stir fried in pan with some peas. We're already reaping what we've sown, and it's fabulous. Yeah, very much so, reaping what we've sown. So let's show you around. Uh, waffle, waffle, waffle. I'll stop now. Welcome back to Plot 25. Uh, let's walk off. Can't wait to see Alan's wood.
marvellous. Well, as usual, thanks a lot. Alan, cheers for the wood, yeah, seriously. No problem, anytime. Absolutely brilliant. You, if you need anything, and I've got it, and I don't, I'm not using it, you know, I'll come to it. I get stuff all the time. Yeah, well, it'll be a while now. We'll yeah, get that one right. done. And then, you know where those three buckets are there? Yeah. I reckon at some more point, we're probably going to put a narrow bed in there as well. Well, yeah. well I've got it, I've got the wood, there's more coming. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Oh, cheers, yes. Alan, you're so a legend, good. man. Right, Brilliant. So much. And then, and of I'll course, as soon as our tomatoes and courgettes have come yeah. through, I'll give you, well, we'll drop some off for you. Oh, yeah. no worries, yeah, thanks for the um, taters and taters and courgettes at next. Yeah, get next stage. And martyrs, all clear, these are all blue. Yeah, if you know, don't worry, if you've not got many courgettes, don't worry about it. I've seen the vlog last week on Monday, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> she's, these two are proving me wrong. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> so it's up to you now from here. If the gate is still open, you can just back up. Nice one, mate. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Yeah. 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 Ye
I see horsetail weed and all its plants. I work on that. You know all this? Prickly. She's the genial wolf. Ah, there's one. Hiding there, weren't ya? Hiding my petites. Come, little one. Come tell me how you live. Well, we, might, we might need two more, actually, Jason. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. sorry to say, one where the butternut squashes are and then one where the cucumbers are. Well, uh, we may as well make use of them. I think this is a good idea. A bit... Oh, no, I don't know if yeah. Don't matter. I was thinking about it's not... It doesn't matter about... It's not about this distance being equal, is it? It's about no. where they need to go. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on to, should she want to. Well, there we go, I'll look her up like that. One more? Yeah, one more here. Where the uh, butternut squash is at. So if I just do that, it should hopefully start to train it to go. Mm -hmm. Go up. Like that. Okay. Pass me, um, pass me fella. She can't see him there. Yeah, good shout. You know what? I'm tempted to get one more for this middle one. Let's here. do it, Jason. If it's there. All right there. And then we can put, if we want to, we can put some cane across the top just to keep it all secure. Mm -hmm. Love stinks. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And this can be trained to go up there like that and start she, to climb going on that one. Still a bit short, yeah. A little bit short. Hmm. Here, Jay. We're trying some black currants. Look. Can you see them, Jack? Clearly. Yeah, reasonably clear. I mean, it's a black currant, isn't it? There's not much to look at, really. Well, here. Thank you kindly. Two black currants from our bush. The first ones that seem to be ripe and ready. Well, considering I didn't even think we'd get any berries this year, I'm going to put them both in at the same time. Oh, nice, aren't they? Oh. A bit tarty. That's beautiful, love mm. that. that. Yeah, I'm more of a strawberry man myself. Strawberries and blueberries. But they're all right then. And I've got a load of um, Napa cabbage leaves from the outside of the plants. And uh, some more spinach and um, 
uh, what's it called? Chad. Chad. For home, basically harvested, like I said, every day, so it's been fantastic. Just sent Alan, who's brought us some wood, um, home with a bag full of cabbage and chard and spinach and lettuce, because he's really massively helped us out here. That's a whole new bed waiting to happen. Um, so I think we're pretty much done here today. Jeez, come round this way and set a I will. So it's Friday. We've had we've had a good day thus far. I've still got my price tag on these jeans. Don't you know we just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> um so we'll be back down Saturday and Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, maybe not both. It's a funny weekend, as we said at the start. It's a very busy weekend. Like I said, the vegan queens have got a live gig tonight, Friday, online, bingo calling. Live gig tomorrow night, hen night in a garden. Shenanigans. Um, like we said at the start. So it'll be, it will probably be Sunday. Yeah. Won't it when we're back. And then we're going to, we've got compost. Levington, check it out online. Certain kinds of Levington are clearly vegan. Uh, and they're selling it in Tesco and Sainsbury's at the moment, so we got some Levington. And um, uh, we'll be doing the troughs, possibly on Sunday. Mm, for the little, uh, the little greenhouse. So we're going to get uh, sorted. Have you shown everyone all the bits? Uh, I'll catch a few bits before we He's going to catch a few bits. We'll show you Salad Street because it's incredible. Pulled up most of the radishes now, planted fresh ones in there. Um, so we'll get more yield. Um, We've done something special on Gord Grove, he'll show you that and show him the net that we did over the berries. I'll show you some stuff and then please stick around because there's more to come. There'll be another day, all other day. Bye loves. For now. Good morning, it's Sunday. We've just had a right malarkey, which I'm gonna show you on the bit that I filmed on my mobile phone, which explains what the malarkey was oh. and shows you the shop here at the allotment. Oh, the malarkey. We'll play that now. Well, it's Sunday. We're down here at plot 25 and it's busting down with rain. And the ruddy camera, the display on it has just stopped working just out of nowhere so Jay's googling it <laughs> to see if there's a, a button we've pressed or something because that's never happened before that uh, display should show what the lens sees uh, which makes it very difficult to film uh, so here's plot 25 but what I thought I would show you is I'm going to uh, pop down to um, the shop yeah, in this rain, I'm kind like that. While it's still open, because it's only usually open 11 till 12 on a Sunday. Um, oh, it's dreadful weather today. You've probably noticed I sound a bit hoarse, and that's because uh, we've just, the vegan queens have just done two, um, two uh, shows. Oh, 
Oh, I must introduce you to the lovely Oreo. Look at him. Look at him, he's gorgeous. He's sopping wet like the rest of us. I'm filming you, Oreo. You're supposed to look cute. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and there's his dad, Jim. And this is our lovely Stotts Lane allotment shop. So look at all the bits we've got out the way. Uh, available. <laughs> and that's Sandra and Carol. Hello. <laughs> See you, ladies. Thanks very much. Don't get too wet. And of course, we've got all this stuff here as well. And uh, the great thing about this is, just so as you know, if you live near Failsworth or Manchester, you can become an associate here by just paying a pound a year. And then you can use this shop on a uh, Sunday morning from 11 till 12 and get your stuff much cheaper. Look, price lists, and we've got all different lengths of cane back there. Lots of different, you know, feeds and nutrients and stuff. And, and there you go. Marvellous, right? I shall head back to my plot now in the pouring rain. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye Oreo. Goodbye love. Now you're definitely on the next vlog. Are you happy about that? Yeah, he's wagging his tail. <laughs> right. Oh. Let's head back there, shall we? Oh. oh dear, dear me. Oh. Quick, get her in the shed. So we're picking a few bits today, for, once this rain abates, for uh, for Kelly. You know Kelly, one of our mods. Oh, Jay, it's dreadful. Oh, plot 25 in the pee pouring rain. And there you go. See, see, you see the rain, you see the lovely people in the shop and everything um, and in more explanation my voice oh so Friday night the vegan queens hosted a bingo <laughs> Rochdale in rainbows bingo session over zoom for a couple of hours I shall put a picture here there you go there's the picture of us doing that and then last night Saturday night was our first live in-person gig for over a year and a half yeah, 18 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which was a beautiful hen party, garden party. And I'll show you the picture of that here. So, I mean, yay. The vegan queen's are back working. My voice, though. I'm wearing heels after a year and a half. My asthma will tell you. Oh, kicked them off. <laughs> Can't be done, aren't we it? both kicked them off. We were like, no. No, we're not doing this. So the eye has been slightly off the ball, only ever so slightly off the ball with the allotment this weekend and our whole kind of vlogging ethos in general in terms of uh, regular content. But do not worry because uh, lots more coming up, as we always say. Uh, uh, don't undersell us. Oh, I'm not underselling no, us. No, it's a little, I, I think that you feel sometimes we have to do more content than we de than we necessarily need to. The, the great thing about now, here, at the allotment, is it's harvest time. Mm. So there's actually not much more to do other than weed yes. and harvest, and that an interesting vlog does not make, necessarily. Uh, that's It's true though, isn't it? But it's coming back. You've already seen, we gave Alan a load of stuff the other day, we're gonna pick some bits for Kelly today. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alan brought us a load more wood, it's fantastic, so Stuart here helping us to weed. Uh, but out there at the moment, it's, ju it's just beautiful. Everything's blooming, tasted our first black currant. Mm -hmm. We know, they've seen this. Yeah, I know. That, oh, well, right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, but there's you saying, oh, it's not been a vlog like normal. It's like there's loads in it. No, I didn't mean this oh. vlog. I meant just in general because oh, the I'm weekend sorry, with that. I get you. Yeah, well, we put that little live out, didn't we, saying, here's where we are and why we're not you know the, the, there's been a lot of time because uh, of course um, Stuart and I had to rehearse on Thursday uh, for you know these shows so good to be working again though really good and now 
we're just sitting in our beautiful shed surrounded by your beautiful bits mm. waiting for the rain to abate enough for me to go and pick some bits in Salad Street and um, yeah get it round to Kelly to take some bits home as well um, check out our meals vlog tomorrow I am pretty sure that every meal has something something from Plot 25 in it. It's been an exciting week on that front, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been really nice. It's, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. It's beautiful to be able to free shop. Oh, I need some spinach and salad. Pick some then. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Truck life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty amazing. It's... Uh, Considering we're only in the beginning of July and we only started this late January mm -hmm. at, As in started to kind of fix it all up and yeah. make things better in just a few months uh, We've got a fantastic garden full of edibles And half of you know this already because a lot of you have started growing stuff yourselves and are equally uh, inspired and loving doing it that vegan group always linked below in the description on Facebook. Everyone's always sharing the pictures. Pick these, eating these, growing these. Look at this, dead lush, marvellous, <laughs> <laughs> and all of the above. So yeah, we we we'll, we'll, we shall wait a tiny bit longer for the way the rain to abate, um, and then we'll probably show the the bits in the bag. We'll do what we're able to do, based on the weather and based on Polly and her uh, inability to accept water into her internal systems. Hence us being in the shed and hence that bit about the shot being on my phone. But you got to meet Oreo, wasn't it gorgeous? Ah, nice, <laughs> nice. And uh, yeah, we've still got to film a bit of Jack's plot. Yeah, well, like I said, weather depending, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. get we'll get as much footage as we can today. If you know, if we can, uh, we'll show you that we've put the tunnels back over the strawberries. You've already seen the new net that we've got to uh, protect half of Berry Boulevard. Yeah, repurposed obviously the uh, the tunnels for our fledgling strawberries. Um, but yeah, if the weather abates, it would be nice to show you Jack's plot across the road because Jack not only is uh, an inspiration, Jack and his mum, um, Jack and Janet, Jack and Janet. But also, they are a prime example on their plot of what you can do to make maximum use of of a very little space. Really, they, yeah. you know, so it's inspirational, and also it's uh, it's having a look and seeing what they've been able to achieve. I have to mention Jack's only fifteen, um, and his passion for gardening and growing vegetables is palpable. Mm -hmm. He wrote a fantastic little piece that he read out in school, trying to inspire other young people to stick things in soil and grow stuff yeah it was, you know, fabulous. It was far more eloquently written than that i just said <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so right rain looks like it's abating jason mm. um now might be the time to grab bits and film bits and carry on showing you our allotments adventures at block 25. bits for Kelly to enjoy all fresh. A couple of radishes, a couple of lettuces, bit of spinach, bit of chard. Yeah, I'll give you that, Jay. I'll cover back up. Okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then, uh, it's probably time to get home. You might be right. It's, uh, it's not a day for being here. It's miserable. It's foul. I hate it.
the shack quick. Is that not fun here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you've seen, uh, it's a particularly grim day today. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be letting up, um, which means that it's pretty. It, here's the thing about allotments. So, like today, we really need to do some weeding, but we're not going to make ourselves ill by weeding and you know and getting absolutely drenched. I've just got drenched just picking a few bits off salad street. Um, so we're going to call this vlog done, we're going to say this, this vlog's done um, and that you know we're very aware of how much there is in there and that's a good thing mm -hmm. um, and like I said now it's it's all about uh, it's harvesting now it's actually it's reaping the benefits of what we've done for the last you know five and a half six months indeed um, that's what this is all about now and by goodness are we reaping the benefits and it's beaut it is beautiful to have something every night on your plate that you group yourself it's, it's beautiful and it tastes better because you grew it do you know what I mean it tastes better than anything you buy in a bag. Salad yeah, wise, and it? I know obviously, you know, in terms of transport, I know a lot of places um, around the UK, I can't speak for other parts of the world, but I know a lot of places around the UK um, do strive to get get it from sort of field to shelf as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, and that's a great thing, but you can't, you're never really going to be able to compete with um, plot to play within the space of potentially a few hours, which is what it has been the last few days, the last week or so, hasn't it, as you said? Yeah. So, yeah, it's been it's been great. Today isn't a write-off by any means. Um, we're just being smart about our time usage. Uh, it means I can get back home, we can get home, I can get this edited, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we can get it uploaded tomorrow. As always, we like to be consistent with the allotment vlogs. Yeah. Hope that you enjoyed seeing a little bit of um, uh, Jack and Julie. Is it his mum? His mum Janet. Called? Janet, sorry. Uh, Jack and Janet's plot across the road. Hope you enjoyed watching a bit, uh, bit of that footage. And meeting Oreo, of course. Of course. Um, when the weather's better, obviously, because we come down like at least every other night, sometimes every night, don't we, to mm -hmm. water things, depending on how hot it's been. So next time we're down, ready for next week's vlog, we'll show you how the courgettes are doing. Oh, yes. There's one on there I've lovingly named Jeff Stryker. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been lovely. It's been lovely to be able to share all our bits and Auntie Pearl and Mum and Dad and my mum and uh, Alan and Kelly mm -hmm. and feeding Kate and Stuart with yeah, stuff from yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's like. And it's also been nice um, to show you the plot on a different type of day because what we said before we came down here today was um, actually we've been very lucky the last few months with working on the plot and the weather being really good for us. We have and we'll get good weather again in fact days like this on allotments are actually um, needed celebrated mm. you know because you don't you don't have to water all your outside stuff the trouble is they boost your plants and they boost the weeds as well so major weeding session coming up yeah. next weekend if not before this ain't letting up no, because it's still like this i'm going to say goodbye and then just turn the camera around yeah and we'll fade out on that nice so you can see um but thank you so much for all your support um drone stuff will be coming soon we're being very sensible with it jason's done everything proper mm -hmm. legally officially and he's taking very careful time to learn and yeah you are the one i'm doing it's, what i need you know. to do um it is actually it's there's a lot to it um and there's quite a significant sort of list of pre-flight checks you've got to go through uh, firmware updates without getting too technical and boring use firmware updates with the uh, controller and with the drone itself i have got the app installed on my phone already um yeah. so i'm gonna say fingers crossed cautiously optimistic maybe for something next weekend that'd be nice yeah even if it's not here yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Just, just a bit of drone footage out somewhere. Yes. Into, you know, a test flight or something. Fingers crossed. If not next weekend, then without a shadow of a doubt the weekend after because I am itching to get going. Um, but as Paul was saying before, 
thank you so much for the support and everything. All of your support, you're incredible, you people. Yeah, if you haven't um, subscribed to the channel already, um, we it would be graciously appreciated if you would consider a, su a subscribe. And while you're down there, perhaps giving the video a thumbs up as well. We would love that. And if you're watching this on Monday, don't forget to watch our seven nights meal vlog tomorrow, Tuesday, which we... I thought that was thunder, it's and it's thunder, thunder we live in it. Um, which we always upload on a Tuesday, our previous seven meals, and you'll see us eating the lovely produce uh, from here at Plot 25. So, uh, I love you, Mr. Bromley. Love you. Mm. Uh, love you guys. Uh, as we say, thank you for watching. We will see you again very, very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. Good turn, you know.